because everybody wanted that purple ball, right? I'm going to buy about at least a dozen of these purple balls and have them at my next vendor show. Um, the uh, straw seal tumblers, that was a good investment. What were they, $17, $19? I mean, how reasonable. Buy up some of those things. We've got a great sale going on this week, an, an incredible sale. Think about when we've got these really good deals. For a vendor show, I know that $5 stuff, $10 stuff, $15, 20 sell right off my table so very <coughs> easily. So those are the things that I would recommend that you invest on. Uh, you can even wrap an empty box if you don't want to spend a whole lot of money on your display. We also heard a really great idea at uh, the fall <laughs> fest we went to in, on Saturday uh, as a special dating enticement. Um, the consultant had a beautiful Christmas box with a big bow on it and she set it down in front of her host and she said, when we get one dating, my host will be able to untie the bow. When we get two dating, she'll be, be able to open it up and get what's inside. And when we get three, we'll, we'll have a drawing for the, the second uh, gift that was in the box for all of you. So it was really kind of cute. Again, Christmassy and a great holiday touch, trying to reel in the datings. Um, another thing that you might want to want to think about doing is your now and later datings. Not so much in, in November, but come December, some people may start squawking, it's too close to Christmas, right? So say, hey, I'm prepared for that. I have a now and later plan. Who's ready to do their party now? And who's ready to do their party later? Because we've got some incredible deals coming up for the holiday season, but we also have some great deals that are starting in January. So, you know, be flexible because the main thing you're going to go for is a dating in your date book, right? How about that? Do you ever see the, um, our Tupperware gel ring uh, made into that pretty holiday wreath with the Rice Krispie treats? You know, for your holiday Tupperware parties, you may want to recommend to your host that she make the Rice Krispie treats in your gel ring mold. You know, decorate it, put the little green food coloring in the Rice Krispie treat. It begins to really look like a Christmas wreath. Use the little red hots to decorate it or gumdrops to decorate it. I, it could be such a cute little refreshment and very, very inexpensive for your host. Um, how about a wine bottle and a corkscrew? Now, I don't typically indulge in wine, but... <laughs> you know, thinking of gift ideas that you can have uh, at your Tupperware parties, you know... A bottle of wine, and our, I'll tell you what, our corkscrew is the best. I mean, if I'm ever forced to open a bottle of wine, I don't think I could do it without the use of our Tupperware Uplifter Corkscrew. Has everybody in here had a chance to use it? Everybody, show me your hands if you've used this. Wow, there's so many of you. I bet your teetotalers aren't they? You've never used it, oh, either, Judy Dockery. Oh my, oh my God! God. I wish Just I would have brought the room. whole accessory set along with it. But I'll tell you what: if you guys want to play with it later, you can. I have a bottle of wine in here that hasn't been opened. What were you thinking? <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at myself. How the heck did that happen? Okay. But anyways, uh, we can play with this a little later because once you operate this and see how easy it is. You know, I used to have to take a bottle, put it between my legs, take that corkscrew, pull and yank. My hands were killing me. This one, you know, you just put it right over the neck of the bottle after you've taken our little foil remover. Put this down, and you just go, just turn it, turn it, and it lifts the cork right up into the corkscrew holder, and you're ready to drink. I mean, if you have to get into a bottle in an emergency, okay? But wouldn't this be cute to tie this on a bag with a bottle and give this away this holiday season? Wouldn't it be nice? So if you, if you do get invited for a holiday dinner, a cocktail party, and you do want to bring the host a bottle of wine, I usually bring the one that I would drink. Uh, if you do that, then tie the, they'll enjoy our Tupperware corkscrew. Is it still on sale? No, it just ended on that last flyer. God, I love that. See, buy these things up when they're on sale because you're going to get rid of them. You really are. Uh, these cute little things, aren't they fun? A box at the Dollar Tree right now. You could put them over the neck of a bottle, our water, bo water bottles or whatever, and they just really d dress up the display. How about this? How about a host <coughs> showering your host with all of her gifts in a Christmas stocking? They have these at the Dollar Tree, and believe it or not, they come with iron-on letters, so you can 
my host tomorrow night, her name is Laureen. I could just iron Laureen's name right on here and inside just stack her little stocking with all sorts of gifts. You could do the dating gift. I have a spatula in here. I'm going to fill it up. I think I got a Modromate round one in here. But you can <coughs> stuff the stocking. I got to be careful how I say that. With all the treats for your host and present it to her at the party. We also saw um, the dating gift, and I thought how cute it looked like little antlers. And for all the people at the party who do place a dating, if you want, aren't they cute? cute. If you want to put it in a little mini stocking, how about her little um, pastry cutter <laughs> as the dating gift? I thought it looked like two antlers. So if you had two of them side by side, that was really cute too. All right, so got that gift card and oh, something else that I brought because I think a few did. How about recommending keeping your holiday store open? How about recommending? our e-gift certificates or our Tupperware gift cards. Now, how many have done that? How many have used that? Not many. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, we've got to show them how to do that, right? Um, I'll tell you, I got a, an interesting phone call from a guy. This was last holiday season. And I could tell he was kind of timid about calling me. Uh, I don't know. It might have been a guy thing. But he said that he had got my name off the saw website, uh, did my zip code, knew that I was relatively close to him, and he had a, a daughter away at college, and on her Christmas gift list was just the word Tupperware. <laughs> and so he said, you know what I'd really like to do is I'd like to get her a gift certificate for Tupperware, a gift card if you guys make those. Um, he said, because I don't know what she wants. She just got Tupperware down there. Uh, and so he said, you know, I'll go ahead and buy a $100 gift certificate but I'm so glad that I know you because I'm going to be buying more of these holiday gift certificate, certificates from you. But uh, I just want to start and make sure I get one ordered in time for my daughter uh, to give in her Christmas card as an add-on gift. So what we do is we just go to the website. You go to your website. You buy a Tupperware gift certificate. And you buy it at 100% retail. Okay? So you could go into your website and order it. You instantly get a $100 sales credit, so those are good to do, right, when you need that money at the end of the month, because then you can take that gift certi certificate and always redeem it as you need it. Are you with me? Uh -huh. And you'll get your profit in your bi-weekly checks that you get, or in your check, your commission check, if it happens to fall at that particular time of the month. Then you could take these pretty little gift cards, and I did bring them. I could show them to you. They're somewhere. I think they're in that bag, that black bag. Uh, you could take our holiday gift cards, flip them over, and there's a place for you to write that certi gift certificate number. And our gift, aren't they pretty? Our gift certificates, I, I mean our gift cards, I think are absolutely beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? And we can get these for you for a dollar. Is that what we buy them for? Are they? Are they? Are they? Um, we, we got an email about it. From oh, did you? Okay. Oh, okay. It's still okay? So we're all right. Okay, good. Uh, but anyways, this is what the gift card. I'll pass one around this side, pass one down this side. Go ahead and look at it. Turn it over on the back. And all the information that the uh, person who you're given the gift card to needs to know to log on to your website will be on the back of this card. And you put it in a, in a regular Christmas card or birthday card like you would. And we have some holiday versions. Uh, we had some anytime versions. Uh, I don't know if she's still carrying the ones with the cookware, but we even had our cookware featured and pictured on them. They're very, very classy cards. It, I think one of the FSRC sisters gets them printed. For about $1, you can buy these cards. So it'll cost you a dollar. But if you get a $100 gift certificate, who cares if you spend a buck giving him the card? Right? Are you with me? So holiday gift cards are really a great idea for you to have. Keep your shop open till the very last minute, especially after the timeline. And I, I did print somewhere our timeline for shipping, and it does vary according to where you live. But I believe ours was December 15th. And I think mine's the 18th. And yours is the 18th? Sure? No, no, no. I think it's reverse. I think it's reverse. Oh, yours is yours the 15th. Is a 15. Ours if you're is on the east coast or your upline is on the, and then if you're on the west, like Judy is and Linda is, right? Do you follow? Technically, but we will be shipped like the east. So okay. We'll so make sure you go into the last 14 days, 
check out your holiday shipping so that you get